Hey, this is Steve. We're gonna start a little project here. I figured, okay, I'll just do it all on video. So just bear with me. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. This is Ace Premium Enamel. It dries real quick. Now this is at uh, what is it? Chrome aluminum gloss. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two Deluxe Innovations trailers here and we're going to spray paint these silver and then I'll tape off the ribs on these things. So we don't want a big fancy coat on this thing because we want little flaws in it here and there. I've got to put my gloves on. Come on. My fingers are going to be silver. As you see, I covered everything pretty much. I think that'll be sufficient right there. Okay, all right, let's go to the next one here. Those were exterior post band trailers. So what we're doing here is the smooth side here. Uh, I'm gonna do these into reefers. So we've just got our standard doohickeys. As you can see, we're using Craylon Fusion. Uh, this is the gloss white. Okay. Don't want to do heavy coats on this stuff. This stuff dries in 10 to 15 minutes. So we won't have to wait long. Let's just let the sun do this here. Uh, while I've got y'all on the on the video here, we're looking for something that we can start making some end scale mirrors for the semi trucks with. Anybody got any ideas? I'd I'd appreciate you letting me know there. Uh, let's go ahead and do another light coat. that right there is enough white on them things and I'm gonna tell you it's it's when I'm good it's it's not gonna be clumped up or nothing but I don't need a compressor I can do it with this right here so okay well let's let's uh, stop this one here right now and then we'll we'll add on to it here in a little bit all right see you okay we're back uh, what we're doing now is the tops of these trailers and the bottom frames. Now if you notice I've already put the uh, landing legs on them and I've already put the suspension chassis part on them and I've taped up the mud flaps. I don't see no reason to spray the mud flaps silver. I mean, okay. Everything look good? This spray paint just covers excellent. You gotta make sure you keep your spray paint in good shape though. I mean, you get one that clumps up or don't want to spray good. Alrighty. What you think there? That's it. Just take this and over here and lay with the rest of it. I'm gonna show you, it's been about 15 minutes. And uh look at that. 15 minute spray job. I love it. I mean, and, and I don't know how good you can see that. Where's my camera at? I'm gonna try to bring it in there to see if you can see any major flaws on it or anything. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. All right, see you in a minute. Hey, okay, what we're using now is more Craylon. This is the clear satin spray. Now what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna spray my rooftops here because I just, I am notorious for putting fingerprints on stuff. And uh, a little bit overspray from my white went down that way, but that's okay, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay, let's just do a little. I don't want this to look perfect. I want it to be shaded and lighter and darker and stuff in places. 
simply for the fact that it'll 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 look like it's, it's been used. Now there's a flaw. <laughs> okay. See what we get here. Okay, this is me again. Uh, we got everything sprayed our first coat. Uh, I'll show you here on the things here. On my mud flaps, when I taped them off, I did one thing there. So all I got to do now is just reach over here, pull them off. My mud flaps are done. Okay, so that's got that took care of. Okay. So, now, what we're going to do is use this painter's tape, the uh, blue scotch. Okay, I'll flip off me a section here. Don't have to be perfect. Okay, and what I want to do is I'm going to go right down the center of it. Don't have to be straight either. Okay, so, there. We got that took care of. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to tape off the white ones of where we are going to... Uh, Paint the bottom and the top. Okay, so I want it right there on that line. I like this blue tape. It don't leave no residue or nothing. Okay, fold in the seams there. Make them. Make sure they're put down real good. That, my dear friends, takes care of the bottom half tape job. Now we'll do this. All right, that's the bottom half taped. Put up, put a run your fingernail down everywhere. There's a uh, different layer. Uh, Make sure you get it in the seams real good. Okay, now we take this other piece here and we just reverse it. By using the Craylon and everything else the way I do it, I can have this trailer painted and start throwing decals and everything on it in a 30 minute period. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I got the radio. It's, it's monitoring uh, CSX and uh, Norfolk Southern over here in North Georgia. And off from, from North Georgia all the way down to Atlanta, you might say. I don't like where it's laying. It's a little too high, or low rather. See? As you can see, I'm just bouncing this thing everywhere. <laughs> okay, that's no big deal. We just pull it back apart. Let's see it. There we go, right there. That's, that's where it needs to be. Alrighty. Now, if you notice, I'm not leaving these end pieces, uh, the end beams, Exposed. I can paint them with a brush just as easy as I can tape it off or, un or cut the tape. Okay. Now, if you notice here, we got just a little bit too high right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take just another small piece, take the flat edge. I want it right there on the marker lights. I do want that silver exposed though above the marker lights. Okay, and I'm going to do down to the bottom here. So at this point, just however you want to do it will work. done so many of these cotton picking things they just about do them my eyes closed okay got 
because I need to just trim that all the way off. Don't have to have all these high dollar tools and stuff. As you can see, I'm just using basic stuff here. Okay, that's what I want right there. So, what I'm going to do is the back of this will remain white. The sides will have the silver to them and the bottom will have the silver to them. So, don't have to be fancy. I mean, we're talking end scale here. Golly bum. I, I, I just, I don't, I hope nobody gets on my layout with a magnifying glass. If they do, they might as well just send me to the house. Okay, now that is ready to paint. So that's, that wasn't too bad. So we'll just go ahead and lay that one down here for a minute and I'll show you something different. Okay, let's, let's start on one of these silver ones here with the, the rib side, the exterior post fan. What I've got here is standard automotive pinstriping, okay? Now, this, this is going to really freak you out. Okay, we are going to start. I'm going to start in the middle. I like the middle. I have got to place this dead center on top of the rib. Fold that puppy in. Take the old scissors here. Fold it down. You know, this is really educational, working silver with silver. Ain't no wonder my eyes are bad. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do this whole thing on the video because it uh, might end up being a three-hour video if I ain't careful. But as you see, this is going pretty quick. What we're going to do when we get this one done, we're going to paint this puppy white. Okay, see I'm getting into these little narrow ones here now. And they're, they're going to be a little bit trickier. Because there's just a thin line of white in there. Or, or what I need when I'm done. And ain't no telling how many fingerprints I'm putting on this thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let me go ahead and do the rest of this, but you can you can get an idea here of of how I'm doing it. Okay. Well, let me uh, go ahead and finish it up, and then I'll start nutting here. Okay. We've got most of this thing taped off here. I'm gonna do this last little bit here and uh, see what we get. I'll tell you right now, that silver paint lays down beautiful, but it's slick. Golly, bum is this slick. I mean, I, I really don't know how this is going to turn out. This is, this is, a uh, this one's going to be questionable. I mean, it's, I've never seen paint this slick. right now that's way too high right there oh yes way too high okay Now the only thing that I didn't tape was these front corner posts and I'll do them with the uh, paintbrush. I just I feel more secure about doing that. I can get to right exactly where I want them because there's more width on the side than there is on the on the back and the or the front rather. Okay. She's ready to paint. That's just, I mean, there's going to be a few flaws. It's, it's going to happen. Might as well be ready to see them. But, 
we'll take everything back out there and we'll spray it real quick. I've got to spray a, just a dead flat spray on it though because I don't want to spray angles or it'll be all over everything up in the cracks and corners and stuff. Okay, now the way we're going to do this, we're going to stick this puppy right there. I broke my stick. That sucks. Okay. We got the repair kit. Probably I'll just not even worry about it. <laughs> Okay, well there's, an, there's a plus. Showed you how to repair a broken stick. Okay, let's just take everything out here and, and spray it and see what we come up with. In fact, we'll spray both of them. Okay, let's commence to spraying this puppy. There's going to be some flaws on it, I'll tell you that right now. Brought it out in this heat and that's it. Start letting go. I'm not getting you on there. I want you to see me spraying this. Some people don't believe I use Kralon. That's okay. I know I do. Okay, let's let that dry for a minute. We'll come over here and we'll go back to the other trailer and uh, we'll spray it with the duty to seal one. Okay, this should be our last and final spray. Yep, that's going to look good enough for me. There's going to be a crooked line. See, decal's going to cover a lot of this stuff up. Okay. As you can see, I'm just doing real light sprays. Okay, that's enough. All right, we'll go inside and unveil these things. All right, let's unveil this puppy and see what she looks like. Now, this is the white trailer that we uh, just painted aluminum around. And it ain't been five minutes since I was out there spraying this thing. So far, so good. Alright, where's the end at? Does anybody know where the end art is? Alrighty. Now let's just go ahead and do this right here. Oh crap. Hang on. Okay, got that took care of. Now let's uh see I, I, I like the way it looks so far. Okay, let's bring the chassis in here. Or the frame. We need to put some uh, wheels on this thing. Okay, let's just go ahead and do that other one too, just for the heck of doing it. I love these Deluxe Innovations products. They are so good to work with. Nice detail, everything. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and put this frame on this thing here. I'll do kingpin after a while when I do the fine touches. And we got our roof here, so we'll just go ahead and snazzle that puppy down in there. And since I've clear coated already, I shouldn't have any problems with uh, <laughs> fingerprints. Okay. Got a hair on it. What do you think? I think that one looks good. Okay. Alrighty, let's let's uh let's check this puppy out. Well I'm afraid to do this on camera, but I'm gonna do it. Let's just do it, get it over with. What the heck? So far, so good.
Okay, let's just do a mass destruction here. See, all this paint's dry. I have not, it has not took two hours to do this video so far. And that's not bad. I wish I knew how to do them fast stuff where you could put it down there and speed it up about 60 mile an hour. That'd be nice to watch. That's what you call, that would be called production level. record taking all of this off because I just I think it's important to see just how simple this really is how easy it is and if I can do this anybody can do it because I'm doing it with arthritic hands and bad joints and everything else all right four more to go Yep, there's one more hiding back there. Let go. Cannot stay. Okay, let's uh, sneak into a frame real quick. Sneak into a top on there real quick. Alrighty. What you think? Now, let's do this. That Schneider trailer is factory. If I get it lined up to where I can give you the glare at the same time. The Schneider truck is a factory done job. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's his end scale and I think it'll work just fine and dandy. Okay, so, so far so good, and as I showed you on one video earlier, this is a black one that I did. So, I think we're good to go. Hope this video helps. Uh, just do your minor detail from there. Check your pinstriping. Uh, touch up your end pieces here. No big deal. Alrighty. Well, that's where we stand. Y'all have a good one. Adios.